Hello and greetings, humans. So today I'm working on making my um, my freezer burritos. So first I have tortillas. Obviously these are flour or um, masa harina tortillas, not just regular masa. Um, I've got black beans that I've made. I've also got um, some red beans in case um, this just happens not to be enough beans. I've got cheese, green bell pepper, corn, rice, and salsa. Um, yeah, so really what I'm going to do is mix all of this stuff, beans, green pepper, rice, corn, not carrots, and salsa together. Um, seasoning wise, I will definitely need some salt, some cumin, some black pepper, that'll focus, or not, or no, and red chili pepper for a little bit of spice. Okay, so I'm going to get to combining. Um, I'm not going to show you that, but you know, you know how it happens. Oh, also, um, some fresh cilantro because I have it. Okay. Bye. So this is what we get before we add the rice and the salsa. Um, it smells really good. Um, I put quite a bit of cumin and a little bit of salt. Uh, I'm gonna do pepper and flakes next. Okay. So we've got our completed and perfectly seasoned mix. Um, we got our tortilla in the microwave so that it's pliable. Ouch. And we've got our tin foil, foil so that we can wrap it after it's done. Um, so the first thing that we do is we're going to get a solid scoop of mix and put it in there. Maybe a little more. Okay, that looks like a lot. Um, that's okay. Next, open the cheese. Oh man, I was leaning my cheese up against my um my electric kettle, and I think it might have melted. Yep, definitely melted some cheese to the back. But that's okay. It's still cheese. Still tastes good. Okay. So, put in as much or as little cheese as you like. And if there's anything that you want to be stratified in here, um, this would be a good time to plate it in there. I cannot roll a burrito with just one hand. Um, and my other hand is holding the camera. So I'll come back to you when I finish rolling the burrito. You're just going to tuck take both ends and fold them up like this. Let's see. Okay. Fold them both up and then roll in one direction or the other. You're going to then pull, okay, just kidding. You're going to pull the edges up. You're going to take this side and pull it all the way over your top, all the way over your filling to this side and kind of pull the filling back into the fill. And then you roll it and then you do the same thing with the tin foil. Okay. Let go.
pretty much it. Um, pretty low labor intensiveness. Um, the only thing I would do now is put them in a Ziploc bag, uh, probably a gallon bag, and uh, shove them in my freezer. I'm trying to stack them and see if I can get a nice picture of them, but that might be better done off camera. Could be a nice thumbnail, I think. I think. We'll see. Inshallah. But thanks so much for watching. Um, let me know if you give it a try. Oh, suggestion! Instead of using rice, you can totally use quinoa or just about any other grain. Or if you're trying to do low carb, um, you don't even actually have to add any grains. You can totally add chicken or beef or anything. Um, I just wanted a vegetarian option for myself. Um, because I don't, um... I don't keep a lot of meat on hand, and also, well, mainly the reason is because my chicken is still defrosting, and I'm impatient and just wanted this done, but also because, you know, it's still really good as a vegetarian recipe. So, you know, shake it up, mix it up, make your own salsa if you feel <laughs> so inclined. I totally don't. Um, you know, add just about anything you want to here. Would not suggest avocado, unless you're going to eat them, like, right away. And by right away, I mean like that same day. Because, uh, yeah. But, thanks so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. And like, comment, subscribe if that's something that you're into. If not, whatevs. Um, and I'll see you in my next video, inshallah. Do good, be good, humans. <laughs>